toxic things if they're not after finding out how bad they are, especially as a woman. I'm Catherine. I was diagnosed with PCOS. We're on a little hormone health journey. First thing, and especially since summer is coming out, chemical sunscreen. The majority of the chemicals used in chemical sunscreens are known endocrine disruptors, so I always opt for a mineral one. My favorites are from Suntegrity, MD Solar Science, and Rosé. I'll link everything I'm talking about in my bio and put all of it in the caption too. Next is mouthwash. Shockingly enough, every single one of the traditional mouthwashes out there is terrible for your oral microbiome and your gut microbiome. And your gut and your hormones, they're like this. So I pretty much just cut out mouthwash in general. I'll add a couple that are definitely better than the mouthwashes that are out there. But if you use a tongue cleaner and you brush your teeth, I really don't think you need a mouthwash. Okay, next we'll talk about clothing, especially sweat wicking clothing like your Lululemons. Those have PFAs in them. There's not a ton of research about the transfer of like PFAs through your skin via clothing, I will say. There's a couple activewear companies that are really trying to do it right in this area and I'll list them below. Active makes really cool leggings and Mate the Label has really good stuff too. And then also I used to 